Hi everybody, it's right here from GameAct.com. Here we are today back in Mighty Number no. 9, grabbing the Unbreakable Achievement. This is to clear any stage without taking any damage. I recommend doing this on Mighty Number no. 3's stage after getting Mighty Number no. 5 and Mighty Number no. 7's weapons. So once the stage starts, which one of these you want to quickly equip Mighty Number no. 5's weapon, and we will use our classic stand as far back and then take out enemies from far away. Only Zell absorb them whenever it's a one-on-one -on -one in situation, so you don't accidentally collide into any other enemies. And the only real hard parts are going to be the lightning cubes. Sometimes if you show up too late, they will shoot a beam of lightning on the floor. With that, all you have to do is just jump. So just be a little careful and make sure you get ready to jump whenever you fight these guys. It also helps that you've run through the stage a few times so you know exactly where the enemies are. So you can be prepared for any off-screen hazards. But other than that, the first part is pretty simple as long as you take your time and don't make any dumb mistakes by rushing. So as you can see right here, whenever we have to fight multiple enemies, we are just going to kill them instead of absorbing them. Make sure you grab the health kit. It's very important that you keep this weapon full at all times since it will be your main standby for the regular stage. So make your way across the first few jumps, shield guy and then two guys right here. Make sure you take them out from a distance. Careful for the next lightning cube, he can get you with a surprise. Jump, take out the dumpster guy and then Zell absorb him. You can also fill up your weapon energy by doing Zell absorbs, but remember to only do them when it is absolutely safe to do so. With this lightning cube guy, you want to make sure you take him out by exploding the missile underneath him and then you can make your way up safely. Take out the shield guy and then shoot the wall and then detonate to take out the first flying enemy. Then you need to slide and then quickly spam and shoot to kill the second enemy before he can shoot you. Same thing with the second column, make sure you shoot the first enemy through the wall and then instead of fighting the second enemy, just slide under as quickly as possible and then get to the other side. Take out the next electro cube from a distance and then make sure you take out this flying enemy from a distance. Then you want to just drop down to this level. You could take out the lightning cube from over here. It might take two or three shots depending on your timing, but make sure you take them out. Grab the health pack right here to fill up your weapon energy and then jump across. Quickly take out this flying enemy. I recommend Zell absorbing him since there's only one of them. And then same thing with this dumpster guy. And then you kind of want to wait right here and let your weapon energy refill because you need a full bar in order to make the crescendo a lot easier. So the first crescendo is pretty simple as long as you know when the enemies appear and where they are going to appear. So first set of enemies is going to be on the right, make sure you explode them and then get the ones on the left. Then you want to zell absorb them once you clear the room so you can get ready to fight the next wave. It's going to be right, left, right, left, and then right. So try to get the timing on that right and don't leave any stragglers because they will sneak up on you. Then you want to make sure you do two shots to the right to take out the shield guy, one shot to the left to take out the set of three, and then one shot on the right to take out the second set of three. You can Zell Absorb there to fill up your health, however you have a long hallway which you can also kill time with just filling up your health by just walking. So just keep making your way over to the right, and then once you are here, you are going to have a shield guy, two shots to take him out, or you can shoot once and then Zell Absorb him. Make sure you take out the two flying enemies by shooting them, and then we are going to move on. There's going to be the two flying enemies right here. Make sure you try to get them in one or two shots, and then make sure you clear the gap. You have the first of the gorilla guys. Definitely take these guys out from far away because they will shoot you. Occasionally, you'll fight them one-on-one, -on -one, and that's probably your best enemy to zell absorb if you do need weapon energy. Set of three flying enemies right here. Make sure you don't get too close because they will shoot you. Next up you have another lightning cube, don't get too close or else it will hit you and then make sure you shoot the shield guy through the floor. You can zell absorb the cube guy for a safe fill and then make sure you take out the shield guy from underneath. Jump onto the second highest platform and make sure you take out these three enemies before getting up here or else they will shoot you. You gotta do some tricky jumps right here, just use your dashes to clear them. There will be a gorilla guy popping up right here so make sure you take him out before you dash over here, drop down, take out the shield guy, he will take two shots and then you kind of want to hang out and then go onto the ladder when it's safe and then take out these guys from the ladder. You can also zell absorb them if you want to, but just remember to be a little careful with the spacing. Next up is going to be the turbine room. You can chill out here if you want to fill up your weapon energy, but whenever you're ready, just move on. You have a gorilla up there. Make sure you shoot him and then zell absorb him. Two regular enemies right here. You can zell absorb them too as well, but just make your way up the ledges, up the ladder. There will be a gorilla right here. Take him out from a distance. 
and then move on. You want to dash and then grab the ladder right here. There's going to be four enemies here, three regulars and one gorilla. You could take them out in only a few shots, but make sure you keep your distance. Jump up here and quickly hug the wall to avoid this gorilla's shots, and then shoot him from underneath. And that should be the last set of enemies for the first half of the room. Climb the rings all the way up, and then you have that obnoxious part where you have to do a crouch dash. Make sure you're as close to this thing as possible, and then hold down, and then use the dash button. Same thing with the second turbine. Then you want to jump and dash, grab the ledge, and then make your way up here. There will be a shield guy, so make sure you stop on this ledge and then take him out from underneath. All the way up, make sure you take out these two gorillas with one or two shots. And then you want to quickly dash across, and there will be a cube guy on the other side. So make sure you're ready to shoot this guy as soon as you land, and then you can either absorb him or finish him off. Then you want to wait on the top of the ladder until your weapon energy refills because we have the second crescendo. The trick with this is you want to stay in the middle. That will pretty much make sure that any enemies won't be able to drop on you from the top. You can do this by manipulating their AI since they won't move off the second platform if you stand in the middle. And then just take out the lightning cubes as they spawn. The first one will be on the right. After you kill it, you can wait for your weapon energy to refill. And you can take out the guys on top just by shooting underneath them. And then you can dash into them whenever you're ready. You can also kind of wait around and let your weapon energy refill if you weren't too good of a shot. So you can either kill time. But remember when the next wave starts, just hang out in the middle. One cube on the left, and then the second one going to be on the right. And then all you have to do is just stay in the middle. As you can see, the guys don't drop down as long as you stand in the middle. And you can just shoot them from underneath the platform and then absorb them. Once you're done, you can head into the final hallway and get ready for the boss fight. Before the fight starts, make sure you equip Mighty Number no. 7's weapon, which is the sword. Head into the boss room. As soon as the fight starts, you want to hug the left wall. The boss should start flying backwards, and you can jump and slash. You should be able to get the first Zell Absorb off that way. And if you time it right, you can actually get two here. And then you can bring the boss to 50% health. Then you want to stand right here in the middle on either side. Hold the attack button and down, so X and down, and then as soon as the shield pops up, you want to jump, and then you want to let go of X while holding down. If you did it right, you should do the downward slash instead of the sword flurry, which should take out her shields in only one hit. And then after you take out the shield, it's only a matter of finishing the second half of the fight. So it's going to play just like the first part. Remember the few key things to keep in mind is make sure you take out the electric traps before she can attack. If she does attack, make sure you stand on the opposite side of where the electricity is going to be. And then make sure you hug the corner whenever she's flying towards you. And attack her whenever she is flying across the room slowly. Just jump and swing. Don't over jump and go towards her because you'll take an unintentional hit. And you should be able to shred her health pretty quickly using the sword but as you can see right here she's about to go down but we're still clearing out the traps just in case but once she starts flashing for the last time just dash into her you should beat the stage without taking any damage and be on your way to the achievement there it is 20 gamer score and that's all there is to it